Hi guys, welcome back to Steph and Dan Real Estate. I'm Steph. And I'm Dan. So there's no question that in Canada right now, and even you know as the world as a whole, that there's an affordability crisis right now. Um, inflation has been up for a while. The cost of goods are up. Uh, interest rates are seem like they're getting higher by the day and and it's really hard on people yeah like people are really struggling yeah yeah so I mean all across the board it's just more expensive to live in general and especially if you have a family to take care of or loved ones to take care of and maybe even if you're you know by yourself and, and a student like life is just really tough oh goodness that is really hard that's like a whole different topic the cost of living in general is just skyrocketed and yeah. it's become increasingly difficult to live and survive <laughs> yeah and so you know that's that's a big reason why a lot of families right now across canada are looking at calgary to see if you know, they can come to a city and still live in a city and still have an affordable life and still have a way of having some financial security and some financial prosperity for, for themselves and, and their family. For Dan and I, one of the major reasons for moving to Calgary, my family is from here originally, so it does feel like we've right. come back home. So that's a major perk for us. But secondly, is that we really wanted to live close to a city, but not necessarily in a city. We wanted all the amenities. You know, yeah, we like didn't want to live. We didn't want to live right downtown because we mm -hmm. have a baby on the way. So we needed a little bit more space, but we wanted to be, you know, close to a major airport within a 15, 20 minute drive to downtown because we like the downtown lifestyle. We used to live in downtown Toronto. So we like to be able to go down there and we, we like- like the concerts, yeah. we like markets. We just like to do things like we're very active people. And with that being said, because we are active people, the, the whole other side to us, like we're city people, but then we're also country people. We <laughs> yeah. really like, my, my family has a farm. Like, we like to be on the farm. We like to be around animals. Yeah, we like a, we like a little bit of both. That's just, just our lifestyle. We like so, space. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so is Calgary affordable? There's a lot of places in, in Canada that are way more affordable than Calgary. And Calgary's affordability has definitely gone up a lot over the last couple years. And that's only, it only feels, it kind of feels like that's only like, amplifying as time goes on and more people want to move here and just the cost of life in general gets higher. I would say that if you're considering moving to Calgary, just make sure that you're you're moving here for the right reasons because if affordability is your only deciding factor then you might want to look elsewhere in Canada like you could look an hour and a half away from Calgary in one of the smaller towns or you could even pick a, a different province because Calgary is cheaper but there is definitely but it's not cheap <laughs> it's not cheap it's not cheap so what, what we I think what we really liked about Calgary was we could get a detached home for a more reasonable price than say Toronto where we were living or you know BC Vancouver Victoria those places which is where we were before and yeah. like some of you you haven't followed us for too too long some of you have been with us for years and years and years um, so you would know that we've kind of lived all across Canada at this point and our family is very much spread out mm -hmm. so because of that we do have the perspective of living in different areas and experiencing the different lifestyles. So that's why we chose Calgary to come to. It was the fact that we could get something bigger here in Calgary, but to be honest with you, our monthly expenses haven't really changed too much other than the sense that we get more bang for our buck mm -hmm. uh, when living in Calgary than in Toronto. Because if you, for example, like in Toronto, if somebody wants to say, buy uh, their first house and they need more space and they're growing family well in order to get to affordability as they say in toronto you got to drive to affordability yeah. and steph and i just didn't want to be living close to toronto but not in toronto so you know you're talking bedroom communities like oshawa kitchener 
Hamilton, places like that. Pickering. Or that. Pick, yeah. and, and there's nothing wrong with that, guys. You know, it all just depends on lifestyle. And that's why we keep coming back to this. It's who you are as people. And for Dan and I, we just really liked being close to a city. Yeah. In fact, in Toronto, we lived right downtown. And we actually really enjoyed it because of all the things going on all the time. But the thing was, is we didn't have enough space. And to actually get a big enough place in downtown Toronto for our growing family was just not possible. Like, to be very honest with you, it just wasn't possible. You know, the same scenarios in Vancouver right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're... If you're a first time home buyer, buyer, let's say, and you want a path to home ownership, the path to home ownership is just far more attainable here in Calgary. And, you know, for example, you can get a condo here for around 200,000, you know, maybe 300,000 if if you're pushing it a little bit. So the barrier to entry is, is a lot less. Like just to get into the real estate market. And you'll hear people talk about this all the time, like, if only you can just get in, like all you need to do is just get in and then the appreciation and the equity happens and then you can upgrade from there. But the fact of the matter is like when we're comparing Canada as a whole and looking at affordability, Calgary in general is definitely more affordable than Vancouver or Toronto for numerous reasons. But the fact alone that you can get a condo for like 200,000 is it's just something that's really unheard of in places like Toronto. So when you're starting your your home purchasing journey, it's just you can get in at a at a lot better rate. And obviously, you'd say, well, Dan and Steph, like, what if um, you know my job doesn't pay me as much in Calgary, or what if I can't find a job, or or whatever it may be? Like, you you have to ask yourself that tough question too. Like, am I willing to potentially maybe take a little of a, bit of a pay cut to yeah get into a market like Calgary, or maybe you're in a better position where you can keep your same job. Maybe you're in a trade and you can just, um, you know, work on a construction site here in Calgary instead of, um, you know, where you're living right now, or you can work from home. Like a lot of people that reach out to us um, are working from home right now and they have the ability to live anywhere in Canada. So that's another another, uh, factor into the equation. I will say though that, I think for the quality of life that we've experienced and like the how nice the people are here and the lack of traffic, I'd be willing to take anywhere from a 15 to 20% pay cut just to live in a place like Calgary at this point in our lives. I think we said in another video that we truly feel like we've come home and that our personalities here in Calgary are sort of reflected back at us. We really do find that the people in like in the way that we speak to people and um, we want to know about their lives. We want to know how they're doing. And you say hi to people, um, you know, across the street. You say hi to your neighbors. Yeah. We find that people here are very much like that as well. And maybe it's because my parents are from Alberta and it goes way, way back. And like, maybe it's just because that is who we are. That's what we're used to within our own families. Right. But we feel like this is home. Yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a video later on and uh, talk more about as being home and what the people are like here in the future. Yeah. And I also wanted to mention the day-to-day life here in Calgary when it comes to affordability. One thing that we've definitely noticed was just, you know, groceries are pretty much the same as Ontario where we're from. But I think where you notice it the most is the lesser sales tax. So here in Alberta, you have 5% sales tax as opposed to 13% sales tax in in uh, Ontario. Oh, so, that makes a huge difference, Yeah, guys. yeah. You know, like just when you go out for to restaurants or say you go to Best Buy and you buy a TV or a computer or whatever it may be, especially on those larger transactions that, that are like $100, $200 and upwards. I mean, even the smaller transactions, you notice it. I mean, 5% opposed to... 13%, it, it makes a difference, especially throughout a year. Also, gas. Gas is another thing, too, um, especially if you drive a, a bigger vehicle, if you've got a big family and you have a van or a truck or an SUV or something like that, and you're not driving a little Honda Civic or even a, an electric vehicle. I mean, those are expensive just to buy in, in general, but, you know, you just... 
you can move around a lot easier and the expense of moving around is a lot lesser because of the cheaper gases. Yeah. The like gas, gas is really expensive in BC. That's why my family and I, we, you know, BC stands for bring cash yeah. because it's, it's expensive. Like everybody knows that. Same with Toronto, very expensive to move around, to gas your car, to leave the city, to go find camping grounds. Um, it's it costs a lot. And then, you know, you're buying food, you're buying all these things that you need and it. It just, it just adds up, it tallies up. So yeah, we'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, if anyone's watching this that has recently moved to Alberta, we'd love to hear your comments down below. If we missed anything about life being more affordable here or if it's more expensive, I know one thing that we didn't really touch on was uh, the cost of utilities. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's been almost the same for us definitely going from an apartment to a house you're going to pay more utilities in general but we'd love to hear from you guys if if you are currently living here in calgary or alberta and came from somewhere else if uh you know tell us about your your costs what is has your life become more expensive or less ex expensive yeah we definitely want to hear from you guys thank you guys so much for being here today with us and we'll see you next time see you guys